guys, and happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you've had a good start to the week. Now it's getting a little bit colder, a little bit darker. It's time to get those jackets out. But I wanted to leave you today with a really positive message for all those people that watch this video that are struggling to lose weight, that maybe have spent the weekend drinking too much and eating too much, and you've got that kind of anxious, shitty feeling inside of yourself because you know that it's another weekend that's gone past where you should have got in shape, you should have done something about that problem. You've been drinking too much, you've been eating too much, and you've got a genuine worry, a genuine concern in the back of your head about your long term health and what that's going to look like over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. You might feel at the moment, you might feel today that it's feel frustrated, pissed off, maybe a little bit depressed about how you feel, just want to leave you with a really positive message just to say that you can get started at any point and it only takes you to change one or two little things to start making some progress. Where it becomes more difficult is keeping that going, that momentum going forward, but if your goal is just to start, here's a couple of things you can do. First off, you have to admit that you've got a problem with nutrition and training and you know, get yourself in shape. You can admit that you don't really understand what you should be doing, what you should be doing going forward, and the next steps, that's a great place to start, to start being vulnerable and open and honest with yourself. You have to get to that point, otherwise you're never gonna get results. Thinking you're an expert in that is gonna be a problem for you. Secondly, is addressing your habits. So if you've got some bad habits around grabbing a coffee on the way to work, having a fry up, drinking too much, you know, not getting your steps in, not drinking enough water, some really simple stuff. Just start looking at how can I take those negative, bad habits and start to change them into positive ones. If you can take the top three or four, that'd be a great place to start. Just start focusing on those for the next five, six or seven days and it can make a really deep impact on your health and your fitness. And finally, if you can start looking at in what ways can I start implementing exercise into my day? Is it going to be walking? Is it going to be swimming? What can I do that I can keep up in the short term and the long term? So if it's, you know, you've been, you've had a habit of getting mad programs into your diary and giving yourself too much to do and trying to headbutt the horizon and make things happen really quickly, you're going to end up being disappointed. So look at what you can do in the short term, the medium term and the long term. And of course, if you look at that and don't know where to go with it, you don't know what to do with it, reach out to an expert. There's thousands of us, there's loads of us available that can help you with some really simple advice. Just make sure that when you go to somebody for advice and you go to somebody for you know, the expert expertise, make sure that person's got a real deep history of looking after people just like you in the same demographic with the same types of problems. Because if they say they can look after everybody, that's a real big warning sign. Make sure you work with someone that's very much specialised in the area. Anyway, I've gone on a little bit. I hope you have a cracking rest of your Monday and I'll catch up with you as well.